welcome back everyone to another video in this one we'll be attempting to boot the fuchsia os or at least a part of it on an actual x86 pc based hardware fuchsia os is still very much in its experimental stage at this time so expect more failures than success but before we get started i would really like to thank and give a shout out to sebe from uh, twitter who has helped me with fuchsia and magenta related issues so let's get to it. There are some prerequisites before we get started. Make sure that your Fuchsia source is updated and you have completed the build for x86-64 target from the getting started guide linked in down in the description. Once that is done, insert the USB drive that you want to make bootable while in the working directory and execute the USB gigaboot build script inside the scripts folder. The script has three options, one of which allows you to use a basic magenta kernel based OS without most of the Fuchsia functionality and we'll look into it later on. Upon execution of the script, it will start to compile a few source files and after that it will ask the USB drive that is to be used to boot the operating system. Type the device name while making sure that you do adhere to all the warnings as all of the data on the selected device will be wiped clean. Once that is done, the script will continue to write files to the USB drive and after a while when it has completed the process, it will automatically unmount the drive. Finally, now we can boot from the USB drive. Here how it went for me. It didn't boot at all on my laptop that was running an on an Intel Pentium 3805U. Next, the Gigaboot bootloader booted fine on the same laptop model but with a different Celeron based processor, but failed to boot Fuchsia or even just the Magenta kernel itself. Finally, I tried it on the up board that is running Intel Atom X5Z8350 CPU which didn't boot the full Fuchsia OS but was able to run the command line shell with Magenta kernel working just fine and once again this os is very experimental in nature and supports a very small amount of intel hd gpus to display the gui and i can't guarantee success as much as i can guarantee failure but it's still a fun experiment to do and just test what all hardware in your home or work is compatible with running the fuchsia os with that hope i hope you guys enjoyed this short video uh, thanks for liking, commenting and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.